hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys so today is um wednesday and i just finished uh, those those school runs i'm a bit tired i don't know why as you guys can see my face i'm a bit tired but mother have to do what she gotta do i need to feed my kids so we just came back now and i want to quickly fix something for the children for the girls to eat and me too i normally i don't say my son because i know he doesn't eat when we eat very strange boy so before i went to pick the get the children i boiled rice can you guys see so we have him boiled rice and i also boiled tomato i inside here i have tomato uh scotch bonnet the sweet red long pepper and onions which i blend and i boil this till the water is dry i'll be using that for jollof rice maybe tomorrow or friday i just i'm gonna keep that maybe in the fridge later but 100 percent i'm not cooking it today and in here inside this pot is the jollof rice i make the other day can you guys see is finished <laughs> jollof rice doesn't last in my house not less of wasting <laughs> so that's what is going on so i'm going to wash that pot so what i'm going to do i'm going to fry plantain we are going to have with the rice so let's start guys i'm just going to get this can you guys see the plantain there a very good observance can you guys see that's the plantain that i'm going to fry so guys before i start i'm going to wash my hands but that's what i normally tell my kids once they come back from school change their clothes they need to wash their hands So you guys, can you see this plantain? This is overripe. Left to me, I don't like this kind of plantain. It's too ripe for me, but my daughter loves it so much. He said it's much sweeter. So I don't know. So I'm be frying this too. So we're gonna have it with our rice. I don't. Your homework, your sister brought it out from your bag this morning, so it's on the chair. my plantain i don't add salt i just fry it like that but most people like adding salt but i don't like so you can also add salt you know look at this one this is the part my daughter like <laughs> this is jeku je you know so i'm going to fry it now so guys i have this um stew here i think it's a sauce so how I make this sauce, let me tell you guys. I bought the um, smoked mackerel from St. Bris. And what I did, I blend onions, a scotch bonnet, the sweet red long pepper, and fresh tomatoes. About three fresh tomatoes, the small one, the medium tomatoes. I blend three, and I blend um, three um, red long pepper, and small scotch bonnet and I use palm oil for this particular sauce and I wanted to make video that day but I was so hungry I wanted to eat rice on that day I'm like if I make video with this sauce <laughs> it's gonna take me like 
two hours before this sauce get ready but if i don't make video it's gonna take me less than 30 minutes so i didn't i wasn't bothered to make video on that day and i was so i was also being lazy seriously so i made this sauce last week and it's been in the fridge with me having it can you guys see so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to warm it i'm going to add uh beef this is the beef i made with the jollof rice the other day you know i make video about it so if you are new you haven't seen the video go and see the video how to make fry fried beef uh, with tomato sauce and jollof fries i think that was the title but you'll see it you'll see it by the thumbnail yeah so i just want to add some beef so this is fried beef i fried this beef and i mix with tomato fried tomato sauce all in the video yes guys so I'm just adding it. So I'm going to, I'm not going to add everything. Just a bit that we're used to it. Although my children are not really fond of meat sometimes. Which I don't understand these kids are days. <laughs> this, this Europe kids, they don't like meat. <laughs> when me, I was young. Hey, meat. Get me, I eat meat. Oh. That's why the meat still remaining. If you, if you guys see, I show you guys the jollof rice. You see, you see, the jollof rice is finished. But we still have a lot of the beef left because I'm the only one eating it. They are not eating it. They they just take the beef. They will just take rice. They will not eat take the beef. So I don't know. So I'm going to allow that to. You know, I'm waiting for my oil to get hot. Then I'll start frying the dodo. I'm going to put this back in the fridge. So guys, I'm also making pancake. I show you guys in yesterday video those of you that you watched the video yesterday i told you guys story about this pancake my daughter she's been on my neck since yesterday i should make pancake but i said no so today i want to make it up to her so uh oh all they say we should do is just to add water and egg and i taste the flour now it doesn't have any sugar can you imagine guys so maybe oops <laughs> so maybe i'm not going to add any sugar okay that's why there's syrup for it i guess that's why there's syrup so i'm not going to add any sugar i'm just going to follow the method so we only need egg and water not even milk can you imagine normally we use milk for pancake isn't it i'm just gonna follow the metal I think this is how pancakes should look, right? Because they set the measurement of what we're meant to use, but for the whole thing. But I'm not making the whole thing, right? So I have to use common sense to miss it. <laughs> so this is, I think, I don't want it too thick. Don't break the door now, like Johnny. Why are you slamming the door like that? one is hot you know put that there i'm going to fry my pancake oops
you guys look normally when i'm making pancake for my kids i make it from scratch i buy the self raisins flour and i do but this one i don't know you guys see i put this plate here because i'm having it first i need to eat as well <laughs> you guys see syrup and lemon Guys, I'm having this first one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. It's good. Hmm. Hmm. It's very, very good. With the. Hmm. With the syrup. The sweetness of the syrup and the sourness of the lemon. It's so good, guys. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Okay. It's in the other fridge. So guys i finished now but i'm still having the pancake it's really good mm. 
This one, both children are enjoying you know. Mmm, so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> is enjoying pancake <laughs> um, mm. this one is hard when you have kids whatever you cook for your kids you still want to try guys my eyes is so red i'm so tired that's how you know i'm tired when anytime you guys see my video that my eyes is red know that i'm tired so guys my food is ready thank you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video i need to go and eat my food now bye guys